welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video i am back at it with another squish hunting video and as you can see by the fact that i am here sitting down doing an intro in my office this squish hunting video is gonna be a little bit different today i'm collabing with and competing with sienna crossing on a squishmallow scavenger hunt now there's a few rules to this it's kind of a lot um but sienna and i just spent a long time working on these rules to make it really fun and to make it as fair as possible and as interesting as possible so let me give you a quick rundown basically i'm gonna go to seven stores of my choosing and sienna's gonna go to seven stores of her choosing and we're gonna be competing to see who can find the most squishmallows to score the most points every new squishmallow is worth a point except for the select ones that are worth different points for example cows frogs bigfoots you know the exciting ones but we only get points for every new and unique squishmallow that we find for example if i go to walgreens and i find a brina squishmallow like an eight inch plain brina and then i go to target and i find the same one the exact same one and we don't get a point it has to be a new one and a unique one and that also counts for duplicates if i go into a target and there's five of the same clip the exact same clip then i only get one point because we only found one of that like variant i guess and then when it comes to sizes each different size squishmallow is also worth points separately so for example if i find a you know red eyed wendy clip and a red eyed wendy eight inch then those are worth one point and one point because they are different sizes and technically different squishmallows then we also have squish dues which are worth negative three points I think it just makes sense. And things like mystery bags, squish fill, capsules, or any like kind of merch like notebooks or sticker books or anything are not going to be counted at all. We're not going to be worrying about those. They're too complicated. A lot of them are mysteries, so we're just not even going to we're, they, they just don't count okay we're not dealing with those today <laughs> i hope that all makes sense and we have two last rules to go over but i promise these are the fun and spicy ones we are both going to choose a sabotage squish for each other if someone finds the sabotage squish that is picked for them then they will automatically lose 10 points so i'm going to try to think of one for sienna that she's very likely to find in a store that has a lot of squishmallows like maybe walmart or target then that's going to kind of make her second guess like should i go to this walmart because there's a high likelihood that I'm gonna find my sabotage squish there and lose points but at the same time like I really want to go to Walmart because they have a lot of stock all the time you know just makes it fun and spicy then we each get to pick a Daiso of the day which is the complete opposite so we get to choose that for ourselves and it's just gonna be a Daiso that we are looking for or someone that we want to find or just a really exciting squish that we would be really excited to see and that is gonna give us 10 points of course if we do find it so we're gonna go ahead and hop on a discord call with Tiana, and we're gonna tell each other our sabotage squish. Hey Raven, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Just a little bit nervous for what you have in store for me, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be a fun one. Are you ready to know what your sabotage squish is gonna be? Yeah, yeah, as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Hit me. All right, it is going to be Tex the Taco, the Fuzz Mallow edition. <laughs> okay, Raven, okay. Yeah, Raven and I had talked about the fuzz mallows at her walmart so it just seemed it seemed appropriate i think yeah yeah i think so yeah um very likely chance that i'll find him <laughs> yeah gonna make me think twice about walmart there sneaky sneaky there okay. we go what are your thoughts about him he's not my favorite <laughs> uh i don't like i'm not a big fan of like the regular text um i don't know maybe the fuzz improves him actually that i think about it I did decide on Paulina. Do you know who that is? Pa no. Because I can show you it's this one. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? So, Fair. Yeah, she's in the squad with, um, what's her name? Caprine Clip. So I figured if you found the box, Caprine would probably be gone. And this would be like the next like the next one that would maybe still be there. Like, I feel like she's the most popular one after the Caprine clip. I actually, I have her. I forgot her name. I do have her <laughs> and I see her every time I go to Target. So, no. Oh honestly, my goodness. It's a, it's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe they're all sold out at the one you're going to. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'm in the car. I'm ready to go. Feeling nervous. I'm not nervous about the squish models. I'm more nervous about like filming. I was telling Sienna, I'm so nervous about filming in stores because like usually when I do squish hunts, I like just record the footage in the store and like voice over it later when I'm, you know, home and comfortable. But I feel like for this, it makes sense to like talk as we're filming. 
So yeah, I'm kind of nervous for that. And then I'm also nervous for keeping track of all the points of the squish and keeping track of which ones we've seen already. So I did bring a notebook, like a little notebook and a pen. Hopefully this will help out. Um, but of course, like I'll have the footage to go off of at the end, just in case like I mess up or I'm like nervous or rushed or something. So anyways, let's, let's get going. And I will see you when we get to the first store. Okay, I decided to come to Walmart first because I'm just gonna get it over with if I'm gonna find my Sabbath squishmallow i just you know i'm not gonna have that anxiety looming over me like for the whole hunt um but i also forgot to mention my daiso of the day and that is gonna be zozo clip who we have a possibility of finding her at walgreens so not gonna find her in walmart but yeah zozo clip is my daiso of the day so if i find her i'll get plus 10 points anyway we're gonna head into walmart and we'll see i also wrote down all of the points in my notebook because i knew i was not gonna remember okay we're in walmart I'm in the seasonal section, um, getting distracted by all the cute pink ornaments, but I don't even, I think I know like some of what Walmart's supposed to have right now. I don't know. I'm just going to look around and I'll, I'll update you when I find something. What? They still sell these? I thought these were like cute vintage or something. I've been seeing them at the thrift store and I bought one of them for onion soup. You can just get these at Walmart. I'm so mad. Okay, I found the first Squishmallows and of course they have to be in the middle of an aisle where everyone can see me. We found these there's a shark i think there's only three or four so we have the shark we have this pink one we have a bigfoot and a cactus so that is four points for me these are expensive i wanted this one but 40 bucks no thanks all right so that's four points right there for these guys oh my goodness this is so many okay okay how are we gonna do this one <laughs> this is two okay Let's see that's a duplicate here's Oh my goodness, minus three, minus three. Okay, this is not text. This is not my sabotage squish, so we're fine. I'm literally digging through the bin trying to like figure out how many are in here. Oh my goodness, this is impossible. But if I'm gonna find text, it's gonna be in here. So I'm literally scared as I'm digging right now. <laughs> okay, I will try to like figure this out and I will update you one sec. We have one, two, three points, right? There's a bunch of those duplicates in the bottom. I literally dug four points five points so plus the four is nine but minus three six nine ten eleven twelve so i am at negative three points right now okay i found more so this might save me or curse me i'm not sure okay so we have this one who was not in the bin so that is that's gonna be plus a point this one was not in the bin so that's gonna be minus three those were in the bin already i already found those this is a new one this orange um this dragon is a new one oops <laughs> repeat and then this is going to be plus one so i'm at negative three so that'll be negative two negative one zero points plus one point and then minus two so i'm at minus two instead of minus three at least i think those are my points like i'm kind of all over the place but once i get back in the car i'm gonna like look at the footage and like recalculate everything just to make sure that it's all correct. Um, I might buy a snack because I'm like kind of hungry and I don't want to do this on a empty stomach, so. I have been sitting in the Walmart parking lot with my little snack. I got one of like these things and I have been going through the footage and writing everything down in the notebook. I literally like scrubbed through the video and I did make a mistake. So you probably caught it. I'll probably, I probably put it on the screen in the editing. Literally the first bin that we found had a Bigfoot and I said it was 1.03. So that does change things. Instead of walking out of Walmart with negative points, I'm just walking out with zero points. Here is this if you want to do the math with me. I mean, maybe I missed something. I don't think I did. I think I was pretty thorough. But yeah, we walked out of there with zero points so that was literally pointless <laughs> like from the literal meaning of the word Ugh, there's so many people walking around me it kind of sucks starting off the first store with zero points you know like i think i would have rather have gotten a bunch of points first and then come to walmart and then like oh i just don't get any more points i'm walking out of here with no points so i don't know where i'm going next i'm just gonna drive so we'll see i'll, I'll see where i end up see ya found this clip we're in party city by the way okay that's a point the music is so loud in here. I might have to voice over this. All they have are like, oh wait, this is Misty. I might buy this. Okay. That and like capsules. I don't see any actual school plushies. Okay. I am so sad. Okay. First of all, 
Um, I don't know if we went over this in the intro, but Siana and I agreed on this rule that if we find a store that has zero squishmallows or like only capsules or something, we could skip it and go on to a different store. Like, we don't have to count that one as one of the stores, you know what I mean? But since I literally found that one clip, I cannot skip that party city because I did find one. Technically, they didn't have no squishmallows. They just had one clip. I'm so sad. We've hit two stores and I have one point. What the heck? <laughs> Literally, what the heck? I don't know where I'm gonna go next. I think maybe five below, so hopefully we'll have luck. Okay, we're in five below. First of all, what is this? Squishmallows making bath bombs now? It's kind of cute. Okay, but that doesn't count. They have this little doggy squad. I haven't actually seen them before, so this is kind of cute to see. So let's see how many different ones there are. Okay, I think this is all of them. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. This is just one I needed. Okay, thank you dog squishmallows. I love you. I'm at Marshall's now, which is a very risky move because they either have a lot or like none. So they do have a bunch of these, even this like three tier thing, what? Okay, here's our plushie section. I think that Pooh is a squishmallow. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of knockoffs here, but I'm gonna dig and I think that might be the only one, but I'll dig and I'll let you know. Confirmed. Okay, we got one. Almost didn't see this guy. Okay, we have two clearance for four dollars. Okay, I'll buy him. Say less. Oh, this one right here too. Part of the Christmas. Okay, okay. There are no more, but you know, three is good. And I'm actually gonna take one home. So yeah, this one keeps faking me out. Like what? What is this? I don't know. Oh my goodness, I just thought that kid said my name. Okay, I'm gonna leave. We still have one more store to go to and I am scared because I want to go to Walmart, but also I'm scared of Walmart because I know they have a lot of squish dudes. So I don't currently know what to do. Um, Mayday SOS. Hey, all right. So the sun is starting to set. I gotta work quickly, but so far, okay, where have we hit? We hit Walmart, we have hit Party City, Five Below, and Marshall. So we're at four out of seven stores. So I calculated everything. I just came back and made sure I did everything right. So at Party City, we had our one Ryan's World clip. And then at Five Below, there was literally just nine dogs. And then at Marshall's, we had the Pooh with the Santa hat, the V-Day lion, and the elf. And that totals up to 13 points on this page plus my zero points from the Walmart page. So I am at 13 points. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. <laughs> but anyway, as for the next store, I think we're gonna go to Target next. I think I'm gonna head on over. So I'm just gonna start writing down the rest of the stores. Probably Claire's and then maybe a Walgreens. Yeah, okay. Let's just go and I'll see you there. So, okay, I will talk about this again after when I'm in the car, but this Claire's was so awkward. Um, of course, there was no music playing, so it was dead quiet and there was only an employee in there giving a piercing to someone like in the little ear piercing chair, which was right in front of all the Squishmallows. So I had to very awkwardly film all of this right in front of them and I couldn't talk to the camera during all of this, but there was so many Squishmallows in this Claire's. I just like was recording clips and I was like, I'm going to figure this out in the car. Just pray for me. So hopefully I managed to document all of the ones that were in there. But yeah, a lot of Sanrio. Like we even got Disney Christmas in here. They had so much. Like you can see all of this. It just keeps going. And this isn't even the half of it. I'm just like what how i've never seen so many so this was the main wall full of squishmallows and as you can see there's also a lot of flips so we were also getting a ton of plus twos for all the flips so i just like literally did this quick swipe over all of this because the people were literally right there to my right it was so awkward but yeah look at all of this look at all of this and there's some little flips in here 
Um, so a lot of these are flips like this one and there were some frogs. Well, you know, we just get the plus three for the one froggy, but yeah, all of these, oh my goodness, there were so many. So yeah, this was a, it was a very awkward Claire's experience, but this is what really like, mm, this, this is exactly what I needed after, you know, our Walmart and Party City failure. So yeah, hope you enjoyed all this footage of my super stocked Claire's. <laughs> I just have one word. Wow. Okay, so the Squishmallows in that Claire's were literally right in front of the door and right in front of where they do the piercings. And of course there was someone getting a piercing right when I had to walk in. So as you just probably heard slash saw, I had to do some voiceover for that. Um, and yeah, I did decide to go to Claire's first, but. And I was also filming it really quick because it was like so awkward right in front of the people. I literally asked them, I was like, is it okay? Can I take a video for my friend? Because Sienna told me that she does that sometimes. So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do that. So there was a lot of flips and there was a lot of Sanrio. So we did get a lot of two pointers, like a lot. So this kind of low key makes up for Walmart and Party City. Okay, I went ahead and calculated everything. Um, I will probably like, I don't know, you can read this if you want, like, I feel like this is so much, but it was genuinely just what was in there. Um, I will put this here for you. So, you know, hold me accountable I, if I miscalculated uh, this. But this came out to 88 points from Claire's plus my 13 leaves us at 101. So I am feeling good. I'm feeling good. We're at Target. I have found some located them we have this purple thingy that thing um this dog i need to make sure that's not in the five below squad this fox blue taco very hideous this dino also down here um a lot of these things but we're not counting those hot cocoa thing uh fox sayana and how so we got all of those um any that are worth more points i don't think so um, but there's more on an end cap over here, so come. We also have this tie-dye bear. Um, I think this was the same one that was over there. This guy, this guy, more of these. And then lastly, it's so random, I didn't even know they carried Veronica's. I don't know where her tag is. Um, and a unicorn. So yeah, there's more, but duplicates, so. Yeah, we got a decent amount. Oh my goodness. Okay, I found more. This is a new one. This is a new one, this platypus thing. Uh, duplicate. Did we see the spare? I think so. Um, platypus. Marsha. Oh, this is new. This is new. Okay. We got Cookie. Um, there's a Fifi. Oh, oh my goodness. Looks like I shouldn't have chosen to go to another Walgreens because I found my sabotage squish here. <laughs> I found the Polina clip, which means I get a big ol' whopping 10 points marked off of my, uh, my tally here. So the sun has officially set. Um, it's been a day. So I tallied up everything that we found in Target to give us a total of 16 in Target, which is pretty good. So plus our 101, that is 117. So now I'm gonna lastly head into a Walgreens and that will be our last store for this scavenger hunt challenge. And I'm just hoping, you know, that we get some good ones and I don't know, we're just, we're just gonna see who gets the most points. I think my Claire's really came in clutch, so. I have high hopes for myself. I have high hopes. Okay, Walgreens come in clutch. We have this guy, frog, worth extra points, shark, this thingy, bird. Uh, we saw this one, but squish do version. And then we saw her already, so she's not gonna count. We already found a Fifi at Target, this guy. And then there's these, which Sienna and I didn't talk about, the ones that come with the little guy. So I did find Ariel in, um, What's it called? Claire's, but she was five inch. So this is a different size, so this would count. But I don't know what we do about these, so I'm gonna ask her and I'll have to get back to you because Moana also has a little piggy. Um, so yeah, I'll have to see. And then there's also this, I hate that one. Okay, okay. They also have Lilo and they have this Octo, which is actually really cute. And then I see some more over here. Okay, I saw that one, saw that one. This one, stack. 
Saw that one, saw that one. I think that one's new. Cute. Just my luck as I'm coming out of Walgreens is starting to pour rain. Why is this my life? I also hit a curb really bad turning into this plaza and I swear I wrecked the car. Okay, we're gonna do a Florida style. We're just gonna run. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> Get in. Oh my God, I didn't lock the car. Oh. Okay, um, so I still do have to tally up those points, but I first have to ask Sienna uh, what we're going to do about those Squishmallows with like the little ones attached. So I am going to actually pick up dinner and then I'm going to message her while I'm like waiting in line. So I will come back and update you probably once I'm home. So I'm going to go do that and then I will update you probably once I'm home because it's late and I just want to get home and eat. So I'll see you. <laughs> So after I finished at that Walgreens, I literally just went home and then we're gonna jump on another Discord call with Sienna to go over our points and everything and see how we each did for the day. Okay, hey, I'm back now. We are here at home. It was a very eventful day. Sienna, how was, how was your adventure? Tell me about all the stores. Tell me about all the stuff that went on. It was chaotic <laughs> as well. I was hoping it was gonna be less stressful than I was anticipating. But it was a lot. I think trying to keep track of points mm -hmm. while filming and just like trying to exist in the wild as a person, like it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to multitask. Yeah. And I didn't, it, you know, it was hard. But overall, I feel like I found a lot of Squishmallows. I think I did pretty good. Okay. But what about you? Like what, what, how was your experience? How do you think you did? It was off to a bumpy start, I'll be honest. I honestly thought I was gonna for sure lose because I came out of my first stop, which was Walmart with zero points. Oh, love that. I feel like it was way more than I thought it was gonna be, especially with all the bonuses, so. That's yeah. where I like, I literally DM'd Raven and I was like, Raven, like how many points? Like, <laughs> I have too many points. I don't know about this. Cause like, I didn't, there's no baseline to go off of. This is like yeah. the first time. So yeah, definitely something that I would say if like anybody wants to like recreate this challenge and like make it a trend or something, Ooh. I would say, I don't know about you, but I feel like seven stores is kind of a lot. Especially it, going to stores like Walmart, Target, Claire's that have like a lot. I feel like maybe five or four would be much more manageable. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like anywhere from like three to five mm -hmm. would be your set, your golden. All right, do you want to go over the points now? The part yeah. we've all been waiting for? Neither me or Sienna know what each other's points are. It's a total surprise who's going to win. I've got my whole list of every single store and I wrote down the totals. I was making sure that I kept track, so. I was good. <laughs> yeah. I was just like watching back the footage and then counting the points from what That's I had recorded. Smart. See, mine's probably like a little bit like, like give or take. Me too. Like a point yeah. or two because mm -hmm. like there's a lot for certain stores, so. Yeah, you want to tell us your total first? <laughs> sure, okay. So wait, should I say what stores I went to or does that not matter? Oh yeah, you can say your stores. Okay, so I went to two Targets, two Walgreens, one Claire's and one Hot Topic. Okay. And yeah, and my total points, uh, my points totaled to 95. Oh, okay. Okay. So I went to a Walmart, a Party City, flipping through my little notebook, a Target, <laughs> a Claire's, and a Walgreens. Oh, a Five Below and a Marshalls. Ooh. And my total it was 135. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Honestly, what happened. A round of applause. <laughs> that is so good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Iconic. So I think it was really Claire's that did it. Like I was showing you here, if we can focus on this. Um, yeah, it was Claire's that kind of pushed me over the edge. They had a lot of Flippamello, so I got a lot of plus twos here. <laughs> That's insane. Did you find your Sabotage Squish? I did not find my Sabotage Squish. I was very close. Ooh. The Walmart had a lot of the Fuzz Mallows, but no tax. Did you Ooh. find yours? I did at like <laughs> oh. one of the very last stores. No. I was like, no. <laughs> so if you didn't find your Sabotage Squish, how many points would you have had? I would have had 105. Okay, so that that was a significant setback. It was, you know what? <laughs> we took a dip, but it was fine. And yes. then Walmart, my Walmart had just uh squish dudes so it was like no. oh great this, i think no there were like two regular squish mm -hmm. and then the rest were squish too so i was like oh. well <laughs> that's fine so it was you came out with a negative for uh walmart yeah. i came out with a negative for two stores 
for wait what was the other one it was well for walgreens because of the sabotage squish oh okay so like just like adding it up with the other squish models that i found mm -hmm. i ended up with negative one for that one and then negative six for walmart wow <laughs> this means that i get to come to you now to squish hunt right because like your area clearly has I, better squish models. yeah actually the grand prize is you get to come into my room and, and steal any squish models you want so there we go yeah i'll, I'll, I'll be, love it i'll be waiting <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, you you win, so you get to do that. Oh for yeah, mine. you won. <laughs> that's the that's the loser package. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Please don't forget to check out Sienna's video to see her POV of all of this madness and to see what squishmallow she found and see how her day went. It will be linked in the description and probably the pinned comment. So please, please go check out her video and send her lots of love and a big thank you for collabing with me. I super duper appreciate it. This was super fun to do. And if any of you guys want to do this challenge, hey, do it. I want to see you do it. Like, please tag me if you do this squish uh, scavenger hunt challenge. It was super chaotic, but super fun. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like on your way out. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.